coastlines are the result of millions of years of interaction between seas and landforms. As communities and nations developed, the need arose to protect harbors and bays and to provide safe haven for boats and shipping. If no natural harbor was available, large rocks were used to deflect the force of the sea and protect the growing towns and cities. The population explosion of the 20th century led to the spread of housing along the foreshores, jeopardizing more and more people and property to the sea's erosions. Previous solutions to these problems ranged from using larger rocks to massive concrete constructions. But these solutions also brought the increased expense of massive plant and ciliary works and sophisticated labor forces. Chris Brown's idea was to get away from designing bigger and better artificial rocks, such as handbars, cubes, tripods, and so on, and design a unit that would have sufficient mass to stabilize the face, have a low hydrostatic pressure drop, and maximum interunit friction, while optimizing water distribution, and ensure that minor losses of units would not affect stability. From the economy and efficiency of the bee's honeycomb came the concept of the sea bee. The hollow hexagonal sea bees allow the engineer and the constructor more options and more control over the job. Research has shown that the major factor in revetment design is the thickness of the structure, not the mass of material. The hexagonal array allows practical placement of a patterned armor layer, which has hitherto been difficult with units such as tri-bars. The CB allows the engineer to vary the mass of the unit in several different ways. Choice of material, or varying the base area, or the length of the unit. It is now possible to select a material in the range from the cheapest available to the most durable and the size can be varied to suit whatever equipment you have available for handling. You can select from extruded ceramic to form cast concrete, but the full flexibility of the CB is best seen in the latter, where the designer, the manufacturer, or the constructor can have full control of the unit mass, porosity, density, and surface detail. The sides of the unit can also be easily varied to provide an interlocking key system to prevent any loss of units from the face and raise the ultimate factor of safety. Over a period of 10 years, detailed investigations for both research and specific projects have been carried out for UniSearch Limited in laboratories of several universities and state government departments. Sydney Harbor is the site of a future seawall for the Garden Island Naval Dockyard, which is undergoing extensive renovation and reconstruction. This test at the New South Wales Institute of Technology is to check the design of the project. The model is scaled at one to five, and the design wave height is one meter. The wave interval is 3.25 seconds. Here you can see how the shape of the CB controls the water movement in the face of the wall. A rock wall, to be stable under the same conditions, would need five times as much rock as CBs and the individual rock would be almost 10 times as heavy as each CB unit. The rock would also present a haven for vermin infestation. Other project tests have been carried out for the Port Kembla revetment, the Darwin breakwater, the Abbott Point causeway, Cronulla seawall, Eden breakwater, and the Curry breakwater on King Island. 
International contractors are increasingly offering alternate proposals using CVs. Such proposals have been put up in the West Indies, the Middle East, and the Far East. The most recent success was at WIWAC in New Guinea. Let's now have a brief look at the Cronulla Seawall project currently under construction in a Sydney beachside suburb. I'm uh, Eric Hurst, the uh, Shire Engineer from Sutherland Shire Council in Sydney. Uh, the project we're looking at is the construction of a seawall on Prince Street, which was very extensively damaged in storms in May and June of 1974. The project was developed uh, after a lot of investigation by the council, UniSearch, and the Public Works Department, who ultimately had to approve of the project. A decision was taken after uh, an environmental study was done on the final design for the wall, which included the concrete sea bees and uh, the Reno mattresses, which are used in the base of the construction. We designed and uh, manufactured the formwork in, the, in our own workshop. And then uh, it was decided to uh, employ some people for the duration of the project. And uh, this manufacturing yard here uh, employs seven people. And they produce, uh, with the six moulds we have, they produce 32 units a day. Our total target is almost 4,000. And we think the aesthetics of uh, the sea bees in the sea world are better than uh, uh, packed rock or any of the other concrete structures that are used for sea walls at this time. And the sea bees could be manufactured economically uh, so that uh, the cost of the job didn't uh, get right out of hand. Sea bees offer an aesthetically pleasing solution to the problem of revetments. You have the choice of material and unit size, the choice of manufacturing and construction processes, and you can draw your labor from the local community.